Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, hey, how y'all doing? My name is Major Slack, and welcome back to the Major Slack Attack. Your first stop for titillating tactical Tamriel gameplay. This is the one and only Mary Mayhem. She's cute, eh? And uh, here we are in the um, the Ethereum Forge. We just forged ourselves this item here, the Ethereal Ethereal Crown. And we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna show you, attempt to show you how to use this thing. Uh, it's glitchy as all hell. So it took me um, about two hours to figure out. This is great. This is the a banish enchantment. This is great. This is gonna make some really valuable um, enchanted weaponry here. This is a rare find. Yeah, I noticed this in the practice run. So I went straight here to see if it was gonna be there, and it indeed was again. So yeah. Um, yeah, it took me a couple of hours to figure this out. Um, largely because the Ethereal Crown is fairly glitchy, number one. And number two, I kept getting assaulted by dragons and vampires as I was trying to test the crown. It was really freaking annoying. It was really annoying. All I want to do is go to a standing stone and hook it up. And, uh, oh, bit of a... He almost fell off the edge there. Watch where you're driving, Slack! Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so it took me uh, two hours of battling vampires, dragons, and glitches to finally figure out how um, to manipulate the crown to your liking. That is, get standing stones into it uh, and load up other standing stones and stack up bonuses. I see a lot of people complaining that it doesn't work. It is, um, I'm going to show you about this. First of all, we have it equipped right now, all right? The power of the ethereal crown is to store a standing stone bonus. It only stores one. That's the key to remember. It only stores one. The other one is the one that you're allowed to equip anyways. So that's the key thing. Right now it has nothing stored in here. I always tell which standing stone is stored in it by simply equipping it or unequipping it. So I'm going to unequip it, nothing happens. Equip it, nothing happens because we haven't stored a standing stone bonus in it yet. Let's go try something. Um, let's do this right away because some of you are probably here for this purpose alone, even though there's going to be a lot of other business in this video. Let's go, um, let's go to the lever stone. That's exactly the stone I want to store in the ethereal crown right now and I haven't actually discovered the lover stone and uh, it looks like my horse got whacked yeah, and I know exactly why too because I left it outside when I went inside arcing thams and there was some vampires chasing me in a group of vampires so I left my horse outside to face the music and I'm sure he got whacked and that's a horse I paid for Okay, that cuts it. That cuts it. All vampires must die. Henceforth. All vampires must die. That's the last time I'm backing away from a fight. It cost me a thousand bucks. Okay, you there. I want to buy another horse. That's nice. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. So you're in collusion with the vampires, eh? You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Sell the guy a horse and then send vampires to attack me. Make me abandon my horse. And then you sell me another horse. It's a conspiracy, I tells you. Okay, now this that's the last time. Alright, then let me put on some uh, gear here. Combat gear. Now if this plays out any Thing like practice runs um, this could turn into a check this out <laughs> never seen anything like this okay you guys have been doing some fishing eh Even there's like not a lake or river in sight except the one way down there okay so we're gonna go out to the uh, the lover stone and like I said, if this plays out like practice runs, there will probably be a dragon there. And I'm going to kill it because um, I don't want it interfering with um, 
my demonstration slash experimentation. Of the Ethereal Crown. Okay, so Loverstone, just follow this stone road east, east by northeast, out of Markarth, right? At one point, the road dips down right here. If you look off to your left, there's a big hill. Big grassy hill. Go up this big grassy hill. Get ready to face. A predator, most likely a bear. Sometimes a saber cat. But a badass predator of some kind. Safest thing to do is get up on these rocks here so you can kind of like get a beat on where he is, what he's doing. I got some calm hooked up here. Uh. The bear slash saber cat is not there. This is not good. That means that there's a dragon in the area, and the dragon either killed the bear or saber cat or chased it away. Let's just make a run for the lover stone. The lover stone is right there. All right, here we go. Let's load up the lover stone with a standing stone bonus. Okay, ethereal crown. Put on the ethereal crown. Activate the stone you want to load into the lover stone or the, into the ethereal ground, and you get all these messages here, these confusing messages. Lover stone added, Lord stone removed. Da, 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 da. Now, let's test to see what happened. If we take off the ethereal crown, okay. So what happened here was, see, this is the confusing part. I had the Lord stone activated before I got the ethereal crown. So when I got the ethereal crown, the ethereal crown decided to load the Lord Stone into it, which is it's not very intuitive. So now the Lord Stone is loaded into the ethereal crown. You can tell because when you unequip it, you get this message, Lord Stone removed. When you equip it, you get this message, Lord Stone added. Let's see if we could change that by simply hitting the lever stone again. No, it refuses to do it. And if you look at our active effects here, yeah, you can see that okay, the Lord Stone is loaded loaded in. Here we go. This is what's supposed to happen. You see that? It it swapped it out. I had the um Ethereal Crown on. Hit up the Lover Stone again, and it swapped out the Lord Stone for the Lover Stone. So now the Lover Stone should be loaded into Ethereal Crown. Let's test this out. There we go. Remove the Lover Stone. I remove the Ethereal Crown. The Lover Stone is removed. Okay, so now we should only have one. There, very good. That's exactly the way we like, sir. Now, let's go to the Warrior Stone. As you may or may not know, as you just read, the Lever Stone um, allows you to level up skills 15% faster. All skills. Alright, now we're going to take on the Warrior Stone. This is not going to do anything to our loaded Ethereal Crown. It would just simply add this on. Allow us to take on an extra Standing Stone ability. So we take that on. See, that shouldn't be me. Okay, there. It's good. It's good. See, this is this confusing set of messages here. The Lover Stone removed, the Warrior Stone added, then the Lover Stone is added back on. They, they shouldn't do that because it's, it just makes it so counterintuitive. So now we have both of them hooked up. The Lover Stone is loaded into the Ethereal Crown. The Warrior Stone is added as an extra, but it has nothing to do with the Ethereal Crown. And what should happen here is if I remove the Ethereal Crown, the Lover Stone is removed. That's perfect. Add the ethereal crown back on. The lover stone should be added back on. It didn't get added back on. Okay, let's try this again. You can fix this. See, it's glitchy as all hell. Take it off. Removed. Put it back on. Added. Very good. See, some people are saying it didn't work. That's what happens. Sometimes when you take off the ethereal crown, it glitches out. 
Okay, so everything is, is as it should be. The Lover Stone is loaded into the Ethereal Crown. The Warrior Stone is added on as an extra. So we can remove the Lover Stone anytime we like. Um, let's go to Whiterun and smelt up all that Dwarven Metal that we collected and take care of a little business. And we're going to keep the Ethereal Crown hopefully on all this time. No vampires will attack us. What's going on here? We have some stuff to sell. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Actually, what I should do is fully demonstrate. Don't forget to check inside the yeah, I'll get to that right away. And do the business afterwards. Okay, so now we have because I'm going to be power leveling some smithing in here, okay? So here we have all skills improve 15% faster. All combat skills, such as smithing, improve 20% 20, 20 faster. So that's a total of 35% faster smithing leveling. All right. Now we can add on to that by getting the well-rested bonus. But you're not allowed to get the well-rested bonus along with the lever stone. That's right. That's right. But... Let's rent rooms. We got a bed. We can get the well rested bonus. Just let me know. Before you sleep in the bed, remove the ethereal crown. This will remove the lover's stone. Okay. Sleep in the bed. Get the well rested bonus. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Go to your active effects. You see that well rested is indeed added along with the warrior stone, and then put back on the ethereal crown. This should add the lover stone bonus. It didn't. Once again, it glitched out. Let's just take it off again. Put it back on. And it's added back on. See, this is why it took me so long to figure this stuff out. Because it's glitchy. And let's check it out. And there you go. All three bonuses in effect. So now we have smithing and all other combat skills leveling up. 45% faster, 15% here, 20% here, that makes 35%, and another 10% for the well-rested bonus. Alright, so that's how you do that. That's how you use the Ethereal Crown to create a power leveling, um, what is it? extra power leveling for any skill. So you could like swap up the the Warrior Stone for any other, any other um, stone, such as the Mage Stone or the Thief Stone. And do the exact same process that I just showed you. you know what's wrong with Is this a glitch? Apparently not. Apparently the holier than thou elitist <laughs> over at the unofficial patch headquarters, Skyrim unofficial patch headquarters, have not deemed it a glitch. If you go to their page, the UESP page on uh, the Ethereal Crown, they just put it under notes. They don't put it under bugs. So, and it's, it hasn't been patched out either, as far as I know. I haven't seen any notification that this was patched out, so it's legal. Even if it wasn't legal, according to them, I don't, um, I don't see it as a glitch. I don't see it as an exploit. It seems perfectly reasonable to me that you could stack the well rested bonus with the Warrior Stone and have the Lover Stone on top of that. I mean, who's to say which is right, which is wrong? It's like, you know, half a dozen of one and six percent of the other, or six of the other. You know, why should the lower lovers don't take take precedent and precedence and, you know, disallow the warrior stone to stack up the well rested bonus on top of that, you know, so there we go. Alright, so there we go. That's how to use the Ethereal Crown. Now, um I want to do a whole bunch of business here. So this is the business part, fair warning. That's this is strictly a business video. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Definitely keeping that. Let's still leave the ebony arrows. And we don't need this. We already have that enchantment. Gauntlets can go. Wonder if I have any dragon bones. Sell that heavy dynamo core. This can go. This can't be smelted into dwarven metal ingots. I don't want this. That either. Let's go for the heavy stuff first.
And she can't afford the sapphire. She can afford the granite. We could go inside and sell that. Don't forget Next. To check inside the shop if you need anything. We will. Okay, we got a whole bunch of dwarven metal ingots. Finish off selling off inside. We've got small weapons. The finest weapons and armor. What have I got here? Sell that guy. What is this food? Yeah, sell that. <laughs> Don't need that. Um I should keep that just for posterity. We're done with Katria's journal. And he can take on our flawless sapphire. We're done here. Let's go get some materials. Actually, I should be buying some iron ingots because I'm going to need a lot. Until next time. I should have bought from Adrian first because I noticed that when you buy resources like iron ingots, they tend to share the same uh, inventory. Watch, he's not going to have any iron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, tell you what, let's wait 48 hours. Or we could go to the College of Winterhold and figure out, figure out exactly how much iron we need because we got some iron there. What I want to do is grab all my dwarven, well not all, as many as I can take on board dwarven metal ingots. And we're going to power level smithing by cranking out a whole bunch of dwarven bows. And there's my dragon. Here's the dragon that I don't love. He's back. Okay, let me store this uh, banished weapon. I think that's one of the few times I've actually found a banished weapon. Ever. <laughs> okay, I'm a little heavy. Let me just go through here. I got 22. Um, I want to get it down to 106. And then I'll start taking on stuff to make sure that my carry weight is correct 116 let's dump off the ingredients One thirteen. give me a minute here I'll figure it out okay got it down to 109 I got some spare potions let's offload these potions actually let's go to he is not here Wait a few hours. Wait for him to come home from a night on the town. Hey, Jervis. You know, what do you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Is that right? How about that? Okay. I can make a better blacksmith potion. Am I going to sell that? Um, I already have better bow damage potions to sell that. Definitely keep this. And let's off offload some of these junk potions. This can go. That can go. Don't want that. And he's down to his last bit of gold. Right. Our carry weight is down to 106. Perfect. All right, now. Let's take on. Look at this. I got 202 dwarven metal ingots. Let's take on, say, 120. And we're going to crank out 60 dwarven bows. For this, we're going to need 60 iron ingots. Let's just see how many iron ingots we got here. 25, 27, so we're going to need another 33. We're going to have to go back to town, wait 24 hours, or rather 48 hours, for them to respawn their inventory, and then we can crank out the bows. Now, part of this business operation is going to require us to have other stuff to sell as well, so stick on these power potions here that I created, just for the purpose of selling. What else we got here? This is a pretty expensive potion. 
these two and those. Here's some more Dwemer, Dwemer metal, anyways, we'll just leave that. We're good. Dragon is still in the vicinity, we can't wait, so we gotta get out of here. Sounds like he landed right behind me. Run, Mary. Run for your life. Can we wait? Yes, we can. Okay, here we go. Up, up. There we go. Back to White Run. Hopefully, we there be no vampires there. Okay, no vampires. Great. And let's wait twenty four hours. Where are you going, Adrian? Who can get things done? I like that. Looking to protect yourself or deal some. Did damage? your inventory respond? Looks like it did. So we're taking all these iron ingots off your hands. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, let's crank out these iron ingots here. How many total do we have? 47, we need 13 more. Let's see if Ulfbirth has any. Or if his inventory glitched out. It shouldn't. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. He's late for work. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait. Went out last night drinking. There we go. Ulfbirth, you're late. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Got any iron? Yes, you do. Could be selling him stuff, stuff to get our money back, actually. Um, there we go. Good doing business with you. Likewise with Adrian. Have you met my father? Take a look. Oh wait, okay. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. She doesn't have enough money. Um Okay, what are we looking at now? Perfect. Sixty iron ingots. Okay, now for this operation we need a master smithing trainer. Because once we start cranking out the dwarven bows those guys there at the War Maiden won't be able to handle buying all the bows. Because they won't have enough money in their inventory. But, if we buy some smithing training, then, anyways, I'll explain later. Let's get uh, the well rested bonus. Okay, now everything is exactly as it was before with our ethereal crown. Alright, so all we have to do is the same thing again. Take off the ethereal crown. This will remove the lover's stone. Sleep for an hour. Let me know if there's anything else you need. That's nice. And add the the ethereal crown back on. It glitched out again. Let's take it off and add it back on again. Lover stone removed. Lover stone added back on. Check out the active effects, and there we go. Lever stone, warrior stone, and well rested. Right. So now smithing is leveling up 45% faster. Now I know some of you are going to mention this, so let me just uh, tell you that I already know about this. There's a there's another quest you could do. Um, starts in Ripton that can give you another smithing bonus. Um, but I believe that uh, the UASP website has to has found out that that bonus is glitched. It doesn't really give you a bonus to your smithing leveling power, but rather it incorrectly raises your effective smithing skill. 
Go check it out on the UES web, web, UESP website. I forget the name of the quest, but um, yeah, it's a certain quest. It starts off in a rift, and you complete the quest, and you get this special bonus to your smithing skill, but it's glitched. So um, I'm not going to do that. All right, now let's do a quick save. Major operation here. What I want to do is level up smithing to 85. We're going to stop at 85, buy smithing skill training from Yorland up to 90, and then he's going to have a whole bunch of money in his inventory, and then we can sell all the dwarven bows that we created back to him because he's got a whole bunch of money in his inventory. All right, that's the plan. Let's do it. So everything is in place. It only remains to crank out a whole bunch of dwarven bows. We're going to stop when smithing gets to 85. Here we go. Eighty-five. Wait, one more. Eighty-five. There we go. And we also leveled up. That's perfect. And I am too heavy. Level up. Put points into health. Swing it on around to enchant enchanting and spend the skill point in enchanting right away, so I don't forget. Corpus Enchanter. This will put us one away from extra effect once we get an enchanting up to 100. Alright. So I'm spending that right away so I don't forget. And off to Yorland to sell them all these heavy arts bows. But first of all, we're going to have to buy some smithing training. It's an honorable craft. This is going to cost us close to 25,000 gold. But we got the money. No problem. I'll put smithing up to 90 and give him a whole bunch of gold which we can get back by selling the Dwarven Bows. Alright, now... Um, 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 so I'm all the Bows, it's not going to get all our money back. Just some. Um, now, he still has 17,000. We can sell some potions to get that money back. But first, let's crank out a whole bunch more bows. The rest that we have. We should level up smithing to about 93. Nope, only 92. I ain't much for talking. Gods be praised. Same deal here, sell them all the bows. There we go, and now sell them the potions to get our money back. 6,000. 4,000. And as many as these we can, we can sell them all. And that worked out right nicely. Got all our money back, got them right down to 269 bucks. We done? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you made out like a bandit. We done here? Shit. You're bad for business. What we could do is go back to the College of Winterhold and, um, here's that dragon again. Actually, this, this is a one-time deal because now smithing is at 90. So, um, Yorlins won't be able to train us in smithing skill training anymore. Anyways, mission accomplished. I got a skill point, and we're very close to leveling up to level 48, which will give us another skill point. It's time for some enchanting power level. The What I call the... Um, what do you call it? The power enchanting machine. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So that, we're going to have to swap out the stored bonus in the ethereal current right now the lover stone actually no we can do that right now i should have gone there first my bad is this dragon here yes it is okay i heard a dramora lord back there can i wait yes i can that's me that means i can fast travel 
off to the guardian stones. Hopefully this won't screw up. Okay, let me just do a quick save here. Um, I want to retain the lover stone. So, take off the ethereal crown. Lover stone removed. Hit up the mage stone. There we go. Mage stone added. Warrior stone removed. Put back on the ethereal crown. This should add the lover stone again. And there we go. We got the lover stone still stored in the ethereal crown and the mage stone added on. And we can get the well rested bonus on top of that by doing the exact same thing as we did before. Okay, winter hold. Yeah, it took a lot of painstaking trial and error to figure that all out. It's a real pain in the eyes, especially when the, the ethereal crown keeps glitching out. If there's anything you need, sure thing. It's yours for a day. And then you're getting the you wrong impression over. about how things work because the the, right. the crown is glitching out. It was a real pain in the ass. Okay, so remove the ethereal crown. That will remove the lever stone. Sleep in the bed. Um, we want to sleep around till midnight so that all the um, the vendors are at the College of Winterhold so we can fire up the power enchanting machine and power level enchanting up to 100 so we can get the extra effect perk. Done and done. We got the well rested bonus. Re add the lover stone. Looks like it glitched out again. There we go. All is right with the world. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Now, can I fast travel? No, I can't. I'm going to have to run manually up to the College of Winterhold. Oh, bother. Where's my horse? There it is. Okay. Should I ride it up? No, I'll probably run him off a cliff or something. <laughs> Don't want to do that. You know, it's part of my daily routine. Yeah, I... Oh, God, hold up here. Hold up. Um, Time for some ultimate healing. And... um. That looks like frost, so let's put on the slow frost boots and take on one of these potions here, resist fire slash frost, and I'm keeping protected until I get... I may have to kill him because I might not be able to use the arcane enchanter until... Oh my gosh, he means business. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to kill him. Okay, so here we go. Let's get on the... The crossbow gear. Potion of Fortify Marksman. <laughs> and, uh, Marked for Death. Hopefully nobody else is going to get hit by this. Just eat that for more, Lord. There we go. Got him. <laughs> See if they can get a sneak attack on him. Yeah. Who's your daddy, dragon? Just say it. Slack daddy. Slack daddy. There we go. Yeah, get some of that good dragon soul there, Mary. 
Dragon sword. There you go. That's a gift for you, Mary. I feel like a cigarette. <laughs> okay. Grab the goodies. Put it back on the ethereal crown. Hopefully, this doesn't screw things up. Okay, once again, it's glitched out. There we go. Everything is in order. Time for the power enchanting machine. That's going to come up next video. For now, I'm going to sign off. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And, um, hey, subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press as soon as I post them to YouTube. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next video.